Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again and who shall I play as this time? Oh, I said I wanted to play as some more modded characters. Um, so let's do another run as Tainted Samuel. Samuel? Samuel? I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, this guy's a barrel of laughs. He's a lot of fun. He's got some quirks. He's got some weirdness. He can get into cash rooms for free, which is in my books one of the best things ever. There's like three or four characters in the base game. What is it? It's Tainted Forgotten, Tainted Judas, um, The Lost, and there's a few others, I think, that can get into cash rooms for free. All those characters tick boxes for me. I absolutely love being able to get into cash rooms for free. And this guy, no exception. He's got some super cool moves that lets him do some super cool stuff. And honestly, melee characters are just fun anyways, aren't they? Everyone loves them. Um, how am I going to do this? Come, come down here. Yeah, it kind of works. Come, come over here. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that didn't really work. Okay. Careful of that bomb. Oh, thank you for knocking the other bomb towards me. Also, the fact that you can pick stuff up with a scythe now really, really is very, very nice. But yeah, I wanted to do this guy because, for one, he's a lot of fun, but for two, I've heard that this guy has some absolutely cracking unlocks. Uh, we've already done Delirium. We did Delirium? What the hell? I guess we're going to try and do Mega Satan next, uh, so we'll do Light Path Mega Satan, I think. Um, but yeah, apparently this guy has some absolutely cracking unlocks, so um, I want to try and grab those if plausible. My dude, you're going to give me another burn heart. That is exceptional. Also, when did I get five bombs? God damn, that guy dropped a lot of bombs for me. I didn't realize it was five. Also, a secret room for free? Things are going our way right now. Holy. Uh, I'll even take this pill. Damn, things aren't going our way right now. Also, completely forgot you can chop the heads off of, uh, off of those fellas. I need to remember that. Um, count with your tears for an increase in damage and tears up. Counting, um, counts as firing X amount of tears, um, and stopping. One. One. I'm confused. What do you mean? One. I mean, to be fair, just getting that small bonus every now and again, not bad, but I, I don't think I can count past one. Um, which <laughs> says a lot about me, I guess. Um, what's a really simple skill that you never learn? That, that's, a, that's a good question of the day. What's like a really simple skill? I think for me, I wouldn't even call it, it's not a super simple skill, but everyone I know drives and I don't drive and I don't ever want to drive. I don't have any interest in driving whatsoever. And for someone my age, apparently that's weird. Um, but I don't want to drive. It doesn't look enjoyable at all. It just looks incredibly expensive and incredibly stressful, so I'm saying a big old no thank you to driving. Nice. I don't really know the best way to go about getting this guy. Damn you. Uh Oh, damn, I didn't, I didn't know if that would do damage or not, and sadly it didn't really. I'm, I'm trying to use the sigils way more than I ought to, but it's just fun, isn't it? Okay, what, what the hell are you doing now? What the hell is this attack? Oh, those bombs aren't bombs I can pick up. That's just me. Right. Oh, you actually hit me as well at the end of that. God damn you. Why? Reasonable HP here. Not bad, not bad. And we're going down regular path anyways. But yeah, I like... I think I think for a lot of people, um, and this is no judgment against you if you don't know, but I think for a lot of people, a simple skill that they don't know that I, I actually can't believe some people don't, and I really think that if you don't, you very much should try to, is knowing how to cook. At least basic cooking. It's, it's an incredibly important survival skill. Um, in terms of, for one, being able to eat things that taste nice when you move out and you don't have your parents cooking for you, but also just in terms of if you get to the point where, like, you have to cook stuff to survive for some reason, you need to know how to cook it properly so that you don't die. Um, so that, that would definitely be one for me. Uh, Yera is very nice here. 
Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Good. I remember how to do things. Don't worry. I remember. Do you remember? Beautiful. It's always a little bit of a toss-up with this guy on when... When do I want to be focusing on using my, um... My Mori, or whatever you want to call it. Memento Mori. Like, I think it should be something that you get a lot of use out of. Because situations like that exist. But also, I don't want to, like, overuse it. What does this do again? Um, when standing near enemies... Ooh, that's actually really potentially quite good. Also, potentially quite bothersome. Uh, it has it has a potential to be both. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Until I get my satisfaction. And that's how I get my satisfaction. Because goddamn was that satisfying as all hell. But yeah, basically now when we get near enemies, when we swing at them, we're going to do various types of farts. Um, and I think that's interesting. That could be problematic because it could end up um, blasting enemies away from us or like into stuff or potentially into us but it could also poison them or charm them or whatever there's, there's there's a bunch of different plausible effects here oh my god it's just so satisfying it's just bliss like for small enemies like that as well it's, it's so good oh you bloody spawned them on me and i can say this with complete honestly honesty you shit <laughs> okay nice we do get a uh, an extra one. That's pretty nice, actually. The fact that it does, like, a... Uh, the mum's night... The, the, like, mum's eye one. It actually doesn't fire behind you. It fires sort of to the side. So you can actually hit both on a single target. Even if that target's in front of you. I like that. That's pretty cool. One minute. Um, secret room. We'll probably here. We've got a lot of bombs. I might as well try and find them. Ooh, baby, I love you way. Um, du -du -du -du. Now, the question is, do I want 24%? It's, it's, it's very strong. I, I like the idea of the bean, but 24% chance if one hasn't spawned. Basically, if we, if we ditch out on the next item room, we've got a very high chance at a planetarium. So I think that's what I might do. Now, this guy's going to be a lot more of a shit to, shit to hit. Just because he moves around a lot. We'll try. I actually hit him with the, um, the what's it called there? The, um, the hit at the end of the Mentamori. Mentamori, Mentamori. Troll bomb, no thank you. Got him. Not too bad. Eye drops is fantastic, and I'm certainly going angel deal here. Not as big as I fire it up as I was hoping, but it might still have the eye drops effect where we can swing like twice at once, although I kind of doubt it. Nice. I'm leaving pills at the minute because they betrayed me once before. I can't go through that sort of anguish again. Nice, that works out really well. Any enemy that jumps towards us or comes for us, we've got a really good way of killing. I'm liking the setup we've got so far. It's pretty basic, but it's got some it's got some nice shenanigans going on. See, that was beautiful. These guys can be one shot, so I'm not gonna faff around with them. Also, we might as well destroy all of the poops here, because the opportunity is there to get a bit of money. And, ooh, a soul heart as well. You cannot complain. We don't have a key right now, so we can't go in there quite yet. Although, that if we don't get a key this floor, this could be the one that we leave. In fact, it might just be the one that I leave anyways. This has been a terrible idea. Why have I done this? This is just a kind of a, a rough room for us in general. Basically, I'm gonna, I was just about to say, I'm going to set these up and then just hope that these guys walk into my web, essentially. Ow. Ugh. Very rough room for us. We lost our soul heart already. Oh, 
Oh, what the? Ah, for fuck's sake, this room's horrendous. I hate this. I can't get to this goddamn guy in time. There you go. Oh, bloody, come over here, you shit. What are you doing over there? Fuck's sake. Well, this room has been disastrously bad. God damn, that was awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. With flight, that room would have been so goddamn easy as well. Yeah, I think this is going to be the item room that we leave. We'll obviously check the floor to make sure we don't already have a planetarium. We might already have one. Uh, secret room. Probably likely to be below here, so I'll check. Yeah, it's likely to be here. Really, it's not? Wow. I can't believe I was wrong about that. Whoa! What the fuck? I made him bounce really strange. Ooh! Scythe babies! Please use scythes. I'm pretty sure they do. They do! It's so cute. Look at my little scythe babies go. Absolutely the best children a man could ask for. It's just an annoying room more than anything else. But yeah, right now... With the planetarium chance, I have to remember that I can't really leave any room un unattended because any one of them could be a planetarium, and I don't want to—I don't want to accidentally leave a floor having a planetarium on the floor. I can open those without taking damage. I'm pretty sure, so I probably should. Nice. Nice one, little fella. Well done. Crow's hat's not what I wanted here, thank you. Crow's hat's not what I wanted here, thank you. You'd listen to me. Oh my god. Taking some terrible damage right now. Okay. That went well. That last wave. Also, money. Wow, 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 wow. Let's go to our shop, I think. But yeah, I'm going to have to do my due diligence and check in all my flaws. Because if I miss a planetarium, oh boy, it would be very sad. Beautiful room there. Nice and easy. Still unsure as to where secret room is, though. A little bit tricky, this one. A little bit tricky. I guess it could be here. It is. School bag doesn't really speak to me. I will take both the sacks though. And a death card, which honestly I don't really need. I'm, I'm holding on to my Yera. I'm not quite sure why yet. I just kind of have it. Um, interesting. I think the crawl space is likely to be better. Although I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. How do I get this exactly? But I kind of like that. Hmm, I'm trying to think if there's like a way that I can slingshot myself up there. I'm guessing I've got, got to do some sort of bomb trick or flight, but... Kind of a bummer. I kind of want that, and I missed out on an eternal heart. Although... No, I didn't. Hold on! I have stolen all you hold dear to you. Stupid moron. Right, we're leaving that item room. The item room is going to planetarium chance. I'm sorry to see you go. Kind of a tough um, fat boy room here. Ow.
We're not really doing that much damage here. Taking way too much damage against them as well. Do you know what? Let's get some bombs in there. Probably a waste of that last bomb, but hey her. Angel deal is nice. Did they say plus seven range on Sty? Also, did that not up my damage? Two baleful hearts. Interesting. Upon use, reverses the trajectory of all projectiles and transforms them into friendly herming. Um, we'll also transform troll bombs into bobby bombs. That's really that's pretty darn good. I'll take it. Uh, we're trying to do Mega Satan here, so let's go for this. We do have two of the... Um, dot, whatever they're called, hearts, the ones that I just talked about. Basically just means we're going to get little ghosties helping us out here and there. Do you want to, like, walk into the fire a little bit, my guy? Ah! My ghosty friend just bashed that guy into me. Rude. Anyways, I think we'll be on our way. So our planetarium chance is going to go up to, like, 45% here, which is pretty hefty. A pretty good chance for the planetarium at this point. Nice. But yeah, we got Sty there, and it didn't actually increase my damage stat at all, I don't think, which is kind of a bummer. Because I kind of need a damage up right now. Oh god, this enemy scares me. Thank god we got him killed. But these, these Dauntless Hearts are going to be ace if we can keep them alive, so I'm really hoping we can. Yeah, they are just spawning. Because we have two of them, the ghosts are spawning at a pretty rapid rate. They're killing all the stuff for us. A lot of stuff. This guy's tricky. I'm going to use this because I've bungled this up. Oh my god. Holy fuck, yeah, okay. So that that's one of my Baleful Hearts gone already. But that was slightly unavoidable, I'm going to say. We did get Tammy's head out of that. I'm curious to see what Tammy's head does. They're bouncy for some reason. Oh, wait, no. I see what's going on. Do I want to keep Tammy's head? We had a really good run with Tammy's head mum's knife recently. Maybe I do. Maybe I do want to keep it. We'll see how it pans out. We'll see how it pans out. Oh, wait. I think I still have my Baleful Heart. So I don't think I lost it. Just covering a different heart now. It's, like, not very good right now, but in the future... Oh, really? I need to be way more careful about how close I'm getting to enemies. Like, that's that's pretty good going. It's, like, wiped that whole room out for us. Eternal Heart, I'll leave that for now, because otherwise I'm going to lose it. Oh god, so many shots coming at me. Get back here, fiend. Quickly pop in here. I was kind of hoping for a red heart in here. Oh, there you go, we got a red heart and a soul heart, nice. We can open this up now. I think... I think that's very, very worthwhile. Or we can re-roll it into a duplicate of something we already have. But honestly, the fire rate up from this, yeah, that was so worth it. Such a huge fire rate up. Uh, we really needed that. We really need that. The damage down is obviously a bit sucky. But I think overall we really, really need that. Crawl space again. This time, it seems like there's absolutely no reward, which is weird. I'm just going to see if I kill stuff if I get a reward. Okay, I do. Unfortunately, it's it's a very good active, but I'm trying to stick with Tammy's head here. I'm more interested in that. Thank you. I'm probably take my Eternal Heart at this point. I don't think I'm going to lose it. 
go back over this way. Again, we want to check all the rooms for the potential chance of that planetarium. It's going to show up in the next few floors, I'm hoping. Let's play it safe. Health is still a little risky, but that Eternal Heart will definitely help. definitely ease our pain. Oh, by the way, uh, something that I just want to bring up, um, quite a long time ago, like, and I mean quite, like, maybe like six months ago or longer, I, I mentioned about starting up a modded Skyrim series on potentially my second channel, maybe not the main channel, but probably the second channel. By the way, I also realize any of you that are invested in the second channel, I know I don't upload there that often. It's just because at the minute I just not had a lot of time to record things for it, but it's it's not dead or anything. I will still utilize the second channel when I am, have the opportunity. Um, but anyways, um, ooh, more tears up. Nice. What I was about to say is I've just recently remodded my Skyrim and updated everything and I kind of want to do that again and also last time I ended up not doing it because my recording like was lagging the game like crazy and I've completely fixed that now. So if people want to see a modded Skyrim playthrough over on the second channel, let me know and I'll definitely think about doing it. I just need to basically tweak a few things and test a few things with my mods, my new mod, new mod setup. Um, but I think we're, we're pretty good to go, to be honest. Oh my god, so many active items right now. Holy hell. I see if that hit me, god damn it. We've not been going to care rooms, have we? I don't know how many I've missed. I apologize if I've missed a few. So that's not what we're looking for. Come on, planetarium this floor, please. 45% chance. You know you want to do it, game. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. Nugget bombs. That's not great, is it? Unfortunately, our items right now aren't all that good. I think Skinny Odd is like our best item so far. Try and get some black hearts out of these. Did get this. Unfortunately, spawned something very useless. Needs to be using that more often, a lot more often. If it hits, it's, it's gonna kill pretty much. And my ghost is still doing a great job. Two stone chests is probably worth. Also, we get the, uh, the, the, the the nugget fly action. Isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Okay, good. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, nice. Sacro room, do you hold any secrets for us? Sadly not. I haven't played a sacro room in a really long time, actually. I mean, it's, it's, it's mainly because I just haven't had, like, the best opportunities to do so. I haven't had really the health to make it super viable. But it is a shame, because they are fun to play. You get some really good stuff out of them, too. Um, I guess we just steal the disc. Head of the Keeper. Hell yes, we get the Golden Scythe, baby. The world. Planetarium! Yes! I just got the item that rerolls the goddamn planetarium door. So I'm fucking hoping with all the every inch of my body that that doesn't fucking reroll the door permanently. I'm gonna have to wait to see that door. And in fact, I'm just gonna have to like chill for like an entire minute before going anywhere near that. So let's do some other rooms that aren't near special rooms. I am gonna be so pissed. I just used my Jira room. God damn it. Stupid way that it picks things up in this goddamn stupid game. Just put the Mentamori in the active slot every time. I never don't want it to be, you stupid. Never don't want it to be, come on. But yeah, if, it, if, it, if it's re-rolled that room permanently, even once the Chaos Disc is done, I am going to be so mad. You don't even understand. I'm going to be so mad. So we've got to just chill out for a bit here. As if that's on a Chaos Disc. Chaos Disc can give you any items in the entire game, and of course that's the one we get. 
Like I said, if this if this fucks this up, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. It's not even real. So we just gotta wait here. Also, we managed to get an ice scythe for a little bit here. Okay, free trial ended. We'll know when we go to this uh this shop here and see if it's re-rolled the shop. It hasn't. Okay, we should be fine. Whoa! Style points with this baby. Holy shit. This is awesome looking. I love this. Absolute style points with the sigils here. I love this. Wow, so cool. Right. Pop in here real quick. BFF, not super useful right now, but it's pretty good for later. And Planetarium, please reveal something. Do not give me Mars as well. I'll also be very, very mad if you give me Mars. Crack that open. You got a Gigabomb out of that bad boy. Still don't really know how to use the multi-tools. Um, hold drop button to use opens most doors and chests, nullifying the price for opening them. Someone said they wanted to see if that opened the Mega Saiyan door. I'd be interested to see if that's the case. Uranus here or Aquarius? We're definitely going to take Uranus tears. Uh, we now get the actual Ice Scythe. And the gold we still get the Golden Sigils. I like it. I guess I'll take these two, why not? But yeah, two pretty cool synergies now. Get to freeze boys on the regular. Ooh, we can like smash them around. Ooh, interesting to see. What does this do? Does that actually affect my range? So like, sit, okay, if I'm standing right here and I, I, I slice that way. I don't think that's affecting too much. 9% um, if a planetarium has already spawned. Planetariums can spawn. Okay, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep this just in case we get another planetarium. Obviously, chances are now low, but the fact that there are chances is pretty cool. I like the fact that I've got these little love hearts above my head. I think that's from BFF. That's kind of cute. Hello, big fella. What are you doing in here? Apparently he's part of this trash. We definitely need some more base damage now. Definitely something I'm feeling. Fox boy. He tried to shit on me. Don't try to shit on me. I don't want shit on me. I'm not letting you out, freak. Oh my god. So icy. Oh my lord, the ice. The ice, baby. The ice, ice, baby. We also get another angel deal here. Picking up no hearts on a floor will grant you full health and damage up at the beginning of the next floor. If that means, like, no soul hearts or anything, then not as good. Oh. I mean, it did damage still. Oh, dude, it spawned a Mega Pooter. No way they put in the synergy for Nugget Bombs to make it spawn one of those. That's amazing. That is such, such effort that was not required at all and I'm so grateful for. Wow, that's that's so cool. That's just so cool. Like, when is that ever going to be applicable on a run other, other than for, like, minutes at a time? Like, not even minutes. Like, instances like that at a time. One room. Still, super cool to go to the extra effort. But yeah, at the minute, base damage is really our biggest crux. We still only have three damage. Um, we have some cool items to augment that that low damage. Especially with the, uh, the extra icy fellas that were spawning. I didn't know you guys shot for some reason. Why did I not know that? I don't think shot speed does anything for us. 
We are managing to re a reach a two combo on our Abacus now, though, which is nice, I guess. Oh, baby. Ow. But, um... Full Red Hearts and Full Soul Hearts are both converted into Blended. And we get this twice, which... Don't think having two of these does anything for us. But that's still insanely good. Insanely good. And I realise we've picked up Hearts at this point, so we're not getting our 0.5 damage. But let's be honest, was I really ever going to even remotely care about that or remember? Holy shit, everything died. <clears throat> that was unexpected. I'm liking this. Thinking Secret Room here. Just the fact that, like, we're turning everything into ice all the time. It's quite beautiful. Perthro. Now, don't accidentally use this, goddamn. Oh, my God. The icy fury that we impart upon enemies right now is, is beautiful. Um, First of all, let's, let's just do this. Oh, yeah, I'll use this a few times. Nice. I couldn't remember if it was the one that, that changed a heart into one of those hearts, or if it would just straight out gave you it. It does straight out give us it, though. Spoders? I don't want spoders. My bad, getting hit there. Whoopsie. Whoops, there it is. Damn it. Come into my web. Ha ha! And then they're all for us and it's so satisfying. My god. Toy chest. I want it. I want it so bad. Toy chest. Oh god, I hate these rooms. Toy chest is my jam so hard. These rooms make me feel things, and the things that I feel is anguish and pain. Ow. Get away from me, little bitch boy. Another eternal heart, though. Pretty good payout for a room such as that. How did that not ice you? They're taking a lot of damage right now. Secret room here, maybe? Oh, I've already found a secret room. No, I didn't. Oh! Explosions. Dude, my little guys are killing it. Also, Midas Touch here as well. I will certainly take it. Dude, the little guys do so much damage. It's ludicrous. It's crazy how much damage these guys do. My god, I just keep taking damage. It's a disease I have. Oh damn, we turned this one into gold. I'm guessing Midas Touch works with this then. Or has, it either has a synergy or I actually did touch you, but I was invincible. Either way, I like it. Either way, I like it. And then we are going Light Path this time around. Sad because I kind of need the damage. But we will move on graciously. And we'll hope to get another planetarium. I'm really, really hoping we get another one. 10% chance now. Which is pretty low, I realise. Gotta remember as well, health is low. But every single red heart is now a blended heart. So that, that means every red heart is now a soul heart, essentially. Which is absolutely crazy how good that is. Whoa, that's a really cool looking enemy. But now, it's dead. Everything is frozen. Everything is dead when you've got this item. See, unfortunately, that guy froze when he was Midas Touched, which means that he didn't technically die, which means that he didn't drop any of his Midas Touch money, which is slightly upsetting to see. Like that look there. That was just... Ugh. Come on, give us, drop us some full hearts, please, game.
Oh shit, I launched so far then. Rather annoying room. But I, I can't like get over there to put my my Maury's down. I've got to kind of swing at them and hope for the best. But luckily, they also don't have a likely chance of exploding. Right, just, just wait for one of them to come into our web here. Get over here. Unfortunately, none of them are taking the bait right now. I guess while we wait, we can kill you. There we go, we got one of you. Oh, ho, ho. these enemies don't even get chance to release their children. We like to see. No children for you. Huzzah. Is that not it? Oh, there's one more of you, I see. I did not see you there. Oh my god, some of these enemies are really tanky, like... It's, it's, it, well, it's kind of hard to tell if they're really tanky or our damage is just that low. Like, three damage at this stage in the game is pretty abysmal. It's kind of rough. Oh my god, yeah. Just, just kill him with a black heart. I just, I actually, I'm really baffled that we haven't got any red hearts yet. Oh, there we go. Finally, we got a blended one there. I gotta say, we'd be, we should be rolling in HP by now, and we're just, like, getting no red heart drops. Got some more mini Isaacs again, which can absolutely slay for us. I, ca I can't hit this guy. Why? Do, can I, do, do I just not have the reach to hit him? Does, it looks like I should. There you go. That works. Beautiful. Love it when it sends them straight away, straight into the wall. But yeah, one red heart on this entire floor. Kind of terrible. Ugh. This is a boss I'm not a fan of, mainly because of that attack there. Yeah, that he just spams like crazy. If you're unfortunate enough to have to get near that guy, it's like, oh, well, he's going to fire his kidney shits all over you. This is a really rough boss for us right now. Get the kidney thing away from me, please. It's so evil. I don't have any bombs left. Shit. Dude, the kidney fucking thing. I can't kill it. It's the only thing left. It's so hard to goddamn kill. Dude, this thing won't goddamn die. I'm on one heart. <laughs> Thank you. God damn. Stupid boss. Stupid kidney is just tragic. I probably should have used my Pertha on that boss item, to be honest, but hey-ho. Right, um, I need to go back and get this half heart. So now all my blended hearts I get on the next floor will just be red hearts, which is a real shame. I'm actually in a point now where I'm probably going to die. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a reasonable chance that I die now. My health is very, very low, because that damage is just terrible. And that boss, again, I will say it once again, if anyone knows of a mod that just gets rid of all the Fiendfolio bosses and keeps everything else in the game... Please let me know, because I just, the the more I play Fiend Folio, the less I like their bosses. I mean, no, nothing against them, like, their sprites are fucking amazing, some of their attacks are pretty cool, but all of them, in my in my opinion, are over-designed, as in, like, they have too much going, going on. Like, that guy, and the, then there's another one called, like, The Organization, that I just find so needlessly complicated. Um, like there's just too much going on, and then there's a bunch of other ones as well that have, like, far too many attacks or are far too hard for where they show up in the game. Got a blended heart there. And it's, yeah, it's just slightly, 
frustrating. And I'd, I'd, I'd honestly just rather play without the Fiend Folio bosses. I, I like the vanilla bosses, and I, I... Every single time a vanilla boss shows up rather than a Fiend Folio boss, I'm, I'm quite happy. So that, that just says to me that I don't want to be playing with the uh, Fiend Folio ones enabled. Which I know isn't really a plausibility unless someone makes a separate mod for it, and I'm sure the Fiend Folio team wouldn't want to do that. Um, but I would very much like that. So if anyone knows of any way to do that, or anyone that's already done it, please let me know. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, this, this room is just horrible. This, I'm dead. Get that quickly. Why can't I hurt this guy? Why can't this enemy be damaged? What's going on? Okay, I have to use that thing on him, apparently. Really got hit by that as well. Well, this has been pretty horrible. There's no red hearts in here either. That room was that room was just kind of gross. So it looks like this is a, a run that's really good that's coming to a pretty swift end. I don't really know what you guys do, but it seems you're pulling a lot of shots in from the walls. I am certainly ill prepared for. Really, you're gonna fire off that guy that way? Come on, give me some health. That's our tears down. Hell. No, not even remotely what I asked for. Come on, where is the goddamn hell? Where is the hell? Where is the hell? It's here! It's all here! <laughs> that was so timely. Where is the health? And the game's just like, hey! Hey, hey, hey you, hey you, I heard you were asking for health. Here's literally the exact amount of health you need to fully heal. Plus a, plus a black heart. Like, thanks. Oh, crawl space, I was not expecting that, hello. Fortunately, not a crawl space I'm interested in at all. Oh, fuck the mask. God damn it. Grab that. Our only option is to, like, ice fools, essentially. Oh, that's it. Bad hit. I tried to ice him and it didn't work. No! I've lost so much health in this room. I tried to goddamn walk into the guy that was frozen. Didn't help me at all. I died. Balls. That was rough. Goddamn three damage for the entire run. Not a single damage up. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.